luxury, a word that is so commonly used in the real estate industry. But what truly defines a luxury property? And why do we so covet them? Is it the high-end finishes? The price tag? Or maybe having everything you want and need conveniently located within your own residence? I don't know if we can narrow it down to one aspect, but rather the holistic experience of a one-of-a-kind home. So in order to determine what makes these properties so sought after, we must immerse ourselves in their grandeur and see what makes these homes so special through the experience. Hey y'all, it's Joaquin Lozano, your friendly Austin architecture junkie, and welcome back to Lozano Blues. I hope y'all are excited today. Today we're going big. I'm talking six bedroom, nine bathroom, 9,500 square feet big. I'm talking four stories big. I'm talking have your own in-home bar, a movie theater, two kitchen islands, and a 50 foot lap pool big. Today, we're gonna be giving y'all a tour of this incredible new construction home in the highly coveted Rollingwood neighborhood here in Austin, Texas. Designed by architect Steve Zagorski, built by Waters Custom Homes, and listed by the man, Darren Walker with Moreland Properties, this residence sits just around the corner from the Rollingwood Municipal Park and offers picturesque views of downtown Austin like you have never seen before. Offered at 11950000 I can't even wait to show you all this property. I am so excited. It is my pleasure to welcome y'all to 3225 Park Hills Drive. From the exterior, I'm immediately impressed at the immense scale of this home. From the basement all the way up to the top floor balcony. Now you've got two separate two-car garages, one down on the basement level and one on the main level. Now as we make our way up these steps, we walk past these stunning oak trees and this terrace landscaping. As we make our way toward your huge crud pit of door end. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you all that this house has to offer. Are you ready? Let's do this thing. As soon as you step inside, you're greeted with a wall of glass straight ahead. And to the right, you have your elevator, which takes you up and down throughout all four floors of the home. Now, beautiful white oak flooring and an abundance of natural as well as recessed lighting illuminate the space, creating a light, airy feel to it. Venturing further in, you see it open up into your open concept, living, dining, living, and kitchen space. That is right. You heard me correctly. You don't have just one living space here. You've got two separate ones. Now let's start by checking out the first. This living space offers a fantastic room for hosting. I mean, just look at all the space you've got here, where you can bring in all your furniture and configure it to your preferences. Now, the quality you have these unique contemporary light fixtures, and you've got a feature wall constructed of this cool, textured gray tile that's already been wired to mount TV right here in this building. And at the base, you've got an oversized gas fireplace, not to mention the convenient access to your stairwell and out to your backyard. Now, we'll get to both of those in a bit, but for now, on to the dining space. Now, as you can see, you've got this really neat hat pick hanging light picture up above and enough room to sit any size dining table you want. I mean, it's enough room to even make King Arthur the Knights of the Round Table and this. And of course, you've got natural light and views of the backyard flooding in through this entire wall of glass behind. Now moving on into the second living space, which to me feels a little bit smaller. Mike seems to disagree with me, but I would hardly call it small. Again, you've got enough room to configure your furniture however you like. You've got built-in white oak and quartzite cabinetry, and again, space to mount your TV. But this kitchen, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to begin. You've got these two expansive kitchen islands, constructed of the most exquisite gray goose quartzite. I mean, just look at it, it's so striking. I find it hard to believe this is actually a naturally occurring stone. Now both islands feature ample storage in the form of built-in white oak cabinetry. On this island, you've got a oversized kitchen sink. You got another one on this island as well as a built-in six burner wolf range stove. Now I do want to point out that both islands have discreet charging outlets so that they don't get in your way. 
easy to charge your things at any time. Now moving back towards the entrance, you've got a Sub-Zero drink fridge, a Nugget Ice Machine, a Mila coffee maker for the best coffee, a Wolf microwave, and double dishwasher. Now, as you can see, you've got storage for days with black floor to ceiling cabinetry throughout the space. Now, I love that they brought in the black cabinetry as it creates a really tasteful juxtaposition of neutral colors, introducing a dark element to this otherwise pristine light space. But at the far end is my absolute favorite element of this kitchen, which is this glass wall that serves as the backsplash to this great news counter. As if this voluminous room wasn't spacious enough, this wall seemingly opens up the kitchen to the world, offering serene views of the trees outside and opening the floodgates for natural light to pour in. I absolutely love it. On top of getting to the far corner all of your kitchen, you have your pantry for more storage if you need any more of that. But what I did want to show you is this thoughtful feature down here. Now this isn't a little door for gnomes or elves, although it could do the trick, but it actually opens right up to your garage. So when you get home with your groceries, you can just conveniently place them here and leave them to arrange the pantry later without having to drag them through the house. Now it's actually about chest height in the garage, so you don't have to bend down the way I did there. Now this entire kitchen is equipped with top of the line Wolf Sub-Zero appliances. As you can see, you've got a Wolf double oven with a warming drawer at the bottom. Check this out, it's a really cool feature too. It's a vacuum cleaner right there, so any crumbs, anything that falls out of the oven or anywhere in the kitchen, you just kick it over there, sweep it up, built in. Now, if you dream about living that Kim Kardashian lifestyle and you need a big fridge, well, you got two of them. The Frame Your Sub-Zero Wine Fridge. And moving over here, up above your stove, you've got a custom wool built-in range hood. Now let's check out the rest of this place. Now I don't want to take too long here, but let's check out the laundry room real quick. To the left, you've got a main level two-car garage that opens up to the pantry. And you've got this mud room that leads us into this lovely laundry room. It's green space, receives excellent natural light. And I really like this geometric tiling along the backslash, but like we saw with the secret door over in the pantry connecting to the garage, it sure has a secret door too. Where the primary bedroom can actually access this and dump their dirty laundry and magically teleport it into the laundry room. Let's go check out the primary, shall we? From the main space, this small hallway guides you into your primary suite. Bountiful windows permit natural light to grace the space and this wall of glass opens up offering access out to your outdoor pool deck and backyard. Now some notable luxury features include this neat playful light fixture, a gas fireplace, and this entirely Venetian plaster finished wall. But just wait until you see this primary bathroom. The first thing you see when you enter is this coffee station. Yeah, in your bathroom. You've got a Mila coffee maker, white oak cabinetry, and another one of those vacuums built in for any mess. And as you turn, you enter an almost cave-like sanctuary. The room is encapsulated in these semi-glossy gray tiles on both the floor and the wall, and I just love how the light bounces off of it. And you've got this elongated floating double vanity with Chantilly quartz on the countertops and more white oak cabinetry. Now, one thing I wanna note is that none of the bathrooms in this house actually have mirrors set up right now. And that's because the sellers are offering an allowance to the buyers to go ahead and pick their own mirrors to bring in. But what I say, today we're going big. And how about this? The biggest wet room you've ever seen. I mean, this room is so big, you could literally have like, I don't know, shower parties in here? I don't know. Anyway, you got two standard shower heads, as well as two massive rainfall heads up above and you've got this black freestanding tub so you can really relax anywhere in the space. And these tall windows offer natural light and there's even a small patch where you can do some landscaping and create a feeling of being connected to the outdoors. But now, let's check out this primary closet. Now how's this for a walk-in closet? Racks, shelves, and cabinets galore, this closet is any fashion aficionado's dream and more. This central peninsula offers a partition so you can fashion the room however you want, pun intended. 
In addition, you've got clear story windows up above offering natural light so that you can really get a feel of how impeccable that outfit looks. Now behind me, you see this is the little secret door that allows you to magically transport your dirty clothes into the laundry room. Now let's go check out the backyard going through my favorite of the sliding glass doors. You may be wondering why this is my favorite of the sliding glass doors. Well, take a look. Instead of partially opening up, every single glass frame actually slides into the wall, virtually combining your indoor living space and the outdoor deck into one continuous area. Once you're out here, this deck is entirely covered courtesy of the cantilever of the upper balcony so that you can enjoy the outdoors without getting blasted by rain or sunshine. And you've got these large fans that further aid in helping you stay cool. Now opening up this door allows you to create the perfect space for hosting guests so that you can enjoy the best of the indoors as well as the outdoors. The stunning wood used along the ceiling evokes the feeling of being in a relaxing seaside cabana. Now one really special aspect of this deck is that the floor actually allows water to drain out. Now these tiles are sitting on about five inches of rubber mat that allows water to pour in and drain out so that this deck will never flood. Now in this corner, you have a wolf grill accompanied by an island peninsula, perfect for cooking up and serving food at parties and on summer nights. While over here, you've got a gas fireplace below a built-in space to mount a TV. But this is a really cool feature. So this is called a rain curtain and it basically brings water up and allows it to pour down, emitting the soothing sounds of rushing water similar to that of a waterfall. And it creates a truly serene ambiance that can be felt throughout the house, especially when you leave those sliding glass doors open. Now this rain curtain flows directly into your 50 foot lap or party pool. And on the other end, you have an enormous hot tub, which is most easily accessible from the primary suite. Now beyond the pool, you have a long patch of grass that makes up your backyard so you can go relax and engage in your favorite backyard activities over there. And behind that, you've got all these bamboo shoots that will create a privacy fence. Now these guys are babies right now, but in time, it'll grow up and you'll have a fence that'll give you privacy and seclusion from your neighbors. And I don't think it'll take that long. I mean, y'all know how fast bamboo grows, but let's move on and check out the rest of this place. Attached to the pool deck, you've got your mother-in-law suite. Now to the left, you've got your bathroom, which also has a door that attaches out, so it also serves as the guest bathroom from the pool deck. I love how the window above allows dreamy natural light to grace you while you bathe. Now this suite is equipped with a full walk-in closet, a mini bar with a built-in mini fridge and a sink, as well as elongated windows to bring in more of that natural light. Let's move on. Moving through, we have access back to the main spaces, but on the way, we've got this cool, moody powder bathroom with a blue stone vanity, dark gray tiles all around and dim lighting above and beneath the vanity, casting an enchanting and kind of mysterious glow throughout. Now let's go ahead and make our way back through the living space on the way to the movie theater. As you come to the edge of the living room, you descend half a level of stairs turn left and you immediately see a bathroom straight ahead. Now this serves as the bathroom for your movie theater and the bedroom on this level. Now let's check out this movie theater. Look at the size of this place. I mean, you've got enough room to furnish with the most luxurious furniture of your choosing. Everyone can sprawl out, kick their feet up and relax while watching a movie. Now this room is wired for both a projector and a TV, so whichever you prefer. And you've got a gas fireplace below the screen and this wall is entirely finished in luxurious Venetian plaster. Now you've got built-in shelving on both sides, but on the left side of the screen, you've got a full mini bar for the full experience. You've got a built-in fridge, another nugget ice machine, a sink, wine storage, and of course, a microwave for your popcorn. On the far wall, there's a door that allows you to access the side of your home and you can see there's a large runoff that allows rainwater to drain out to the street. Now during rainy season, this thing fills up with rushing water, so I would advise you to keep some inner tubes handy and you can put Schlitter Barn to shame at your at-home water slide that leads directly into the street. If there's any kids watching, please do not actually try that. Now let's go check out the bedroom. 
Across from the theater, you've got the bedroom of this level. Now, I would make this my office space. It's secluded from the house and it's got floor to ceiling windows and it is the perfect spot to turn on focus mode and get some serious business done. Now let's go ahead and head down to the basement and check out your bottom story two car garage real quick before we head up. Here on the bottom story you've got this quaint mudroom that ushers you into your bottom level two car garage. Now there's nothing too crazy in here but I do want to talk about this little space over here. Now in Rollingwood, due to the proximity of the golf course, you're actually allowed to drive golf carts on the street. And that's what this little port is for. Pretty thoughtful, huh? And of course, you've got your elevator here for easy access to the upper levels. And all right, let's make our way up to the second story and check out the other half of this home. Here we are on the second story. Now this is what I envision as the kids level. You've got four bedrooms, each with floor to ceiling windows, attached bathrooms, and convenient access out to the two major balconies on this level. Now, let's start by showing y'all the two balconies, the laundry room, and the greatest flex space you will ever see. And then I'll let Mike give y'all a tour of the four bedrooms before heading up to the ultimate showstopper of the home, the sky deck and bar. Let's start with the backyard balcony. Stepping out through one of your bedrooms, we arrive on the backyard balcony. Now this is the smallest balcony on the property. Yes, this is the smallest balcony we've got here. It's partially covered and you've got recessed lighting throughout. And I mean, you've got space for days for any game tables, cornhole, or any seating that you might want out here. Now let's go ahead and make our way back inside and make our way down to the laundry room. Now I want to give you all an idea of the layout of this place. So here you've got one of the bedrooms. This is located in the corner. We make our way. This is the staircase that leads up to the sky deck, which we'll get to in a minute. You've got storage right here. This is the elevator and the staircase that takes you down. Another bedroom with an attached bathroom, which also serves as a guest bathroom, a door out to the backyard balcony. Bedroom right there. This is the primary balcony facing the street view. Another bedroom right here. And here we arrive at your laundry room. Now this one looks really similar to the one we saw downstairs. The only difference is there's no windows and you don't have that cool little secret door. Now let's check out the greatest flex space of all time. Now, I don't even know what to call this room. It really is the ultimate flex space. It is so flexible and you can really just let your imagination run wild in this one. Just look at all the space you have to design the room of your dreams. You've got a built-in bar with a sink, microwave, and mini fridge. And you've got a wall of floor to ceiling glass offering views out to the street and of these enchanting oak trees. Now, like I said, I envision this being the kids level. So I imagine the ultimate game room in here, but really the possibilities are limitless. I am super curious to see what the buyers do with this room. And I, I want y'all to drop a comment. If you were working with a $12 million budget, how would you want to design this room? Now, you also have access over here to all your major systems. So when the maintenance man comes, it's not gonna have any trouble accessing them. And you also have access out to the street facing balcony. So let's go ahead and check that one out. I think this balcony is a little bit more exciting than the backyard balcony. It's fully covered and you've got recessed lighting that lights up this entire path like a runway, which is great because this is long enough to be a runway. Now you've got glass railing that runs the length of the balcony and you've got multiple fans above to help keep you cool. Now over here, you've got a rain spout that allows water to run off from the sky deck and flow out so that the sky deck won't flood. And you also have a sneak peek of the view that awaits you upstairs. Now. I want to be real honest with y'all. Your kids are definitely claiming this level. I'm sorry, there's nothing you can really do about it, but just wait until you see what's in store for the adults upstairs. Let's go check it out. So what does $12 million get you in Rollingwood? If you haven't seen enough, you're about to know the answer. 
Look at this mammoth space you've got for hosting your guests. I mean, just take a look at the size of the couch they've got in here. We've got a gas fireplace underneath the TV for y'all to gather around. And the room is wrapped in floor to ceiling windows so that y'all can be embraced in the open air. Now over back in this corner, you've got a dedicated space for the MVP of the night, the bartender. This bar has an abundance of wine storage, a sink, a microwave, another nugget ice machine, and a mini fridge, as well as ample storage room for all of the essentials for a proper celebration. Now tucked behind, you've got another moody bathroom like we saw downstairs for that speakeasy vibe if that's what you're going for. And then you've also got another room to access your systems. But now, the moment you've been waiting for, let's check out the sky deck. Now this, this is a $12 million balcony. Absolutely picturesque views of the downtown Austin skyline hovering over the rolling hills. I mean, just look at that unobstructed view of the Texas Capitol building. That's not easy to find. This deck allows you to transform the upstairs bar into a full on nightclub with room for all of your friends and all of your friends' friends. And it's entirely covered, so no weather is ever gonna rain on your parade. Now on this end, you've got a full wolf grill, as well as a sink and a dishwasher for a full service experience like no other. I mean, just wow. I cannot get enough of this view. I know I say this a lot on the channel, but I really mean it this time. This is the best view I've seen in Austin, Texas, and it's not gonna be one that's easy to beat. At the far end, the ceiling recedes and allows natural light to hit you directly, making it the perfect spot for a tanning deck or whatever you like. I mean, just wow. This balcony is incredible. I want y'all to drop me a comment and let me know, is this the best balcony in all of Austin, Texas? And if not, what's better? Because I have got to go check that out. And that does it for this tour. I want to give another huge thank you to Darren Walker with Moreland Properties for allowing us to show y'all this incredible listing. Now, if y'all enjoyed the video, which I hope you did, then I invite you to like and subscribe to the channel so that way you can see more of the best architecture, design, and real estate that Austin, Texas has to offer. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one.